To what extent do SMEs use indicators to manage the supply chain and measure the performance? Abstract, the supply chain management, SCM, topic is still attracting the attention of both researchers and professionals, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic where thousands of companies went bankrupt due to the supply chain weaknesses. Actually, SCM deals with the amplification and the complexity of flows among the different companies in the logistics network through the implementation of best practices as a strategic factor of its competitiveness. These practices are regularly reviewed to identify those that represent a competitive advantage or a risk factor. This article has for principal goal to assess the use of supply chain performance indicators in SMEs. This assessment can be done by using different standards such as SCORE model, ASLOG, SCALE, Oliver Weight and Global Evalig. This study adopted these standards that allows identify overall strengths and weaknesses regarding the use of indicators in order to implement and monitor improvement plans that consists in consolidating strengths and developing solutions for weaknesses. Keyword Supply Chain Auditing, Supply Chain Performance Indicators Use Introduction In a context of globalization of trade, of hyper-competition, the growth in sales following a significant increase in consumption has had the major consequences of an amplification and complexification of flows among the various actors of the economic system. Consequently, these flows have become difficult to rationalize. In other words, these developments have given rise to the concept of supply chain that constitutes a powerful lever for competitiveness. Today, this concept has become a multidisciplinary science affecting almost all functions of the company. The objective of this article is mainly to assess the supply chain practices of an Algerian small and medium manufacturing operating in food sector with particular focus on the use of performance indicators to manage and control the whole supply chain functions. In this type of sector, supply chain management SCM, is a strategic factor of competitiveness for companies and a determinant of their performance. In addition, this evaluation of the indicator's performance use could be accomplished using many standards such as, UFNR FDX 50-605 standards, the SCORE model, ASLOG, SC Master, SCALE, and the Oliver Weight model. These standards help to focus on all the strengths and weaknesses of the supply chain in order to allow managers set up and monitor progress plans consisting in consolidating the strengths as well as developing solutions for the weak points. Thus, the choice of this subject dealing with the problem of supply chain indicators in this SME, which manufactures and markets dairy products, is justified by the fact that this latest responds well to customer expectations in terms of product quality and cost. Compared to its main competitors, but it risks losing this advantage because of the problems it encounters in terms of flow management, inventory management, and SCM performance indicators. The audit conducted with managers reveals areas for improvement and could lead to superior performance in terms of productivity, responsiveness to market changes, customer services, and flexibility. This article is organized as follows, we have defined, first, the different concepts around which our research is based, namely, supply chain management and performance indicators, as well as the evaluation model adopted to assess the use of performance indicators to manage the SC, namely the ISLOG model, by addressing its missions, its structure, and its evaluation method. Then, we described the studied company, the conditions, and circumstances that characterized the progress of the audit and the interviews lead with managers. The results of these interviews allowed us to identify the strengths and weaknesses related to the use of indicators. These were then the subject of an in-depth analysis in order to understand the causes of the dysfunctions observed. Finally, an action plan was developed to provide the company with solutions through which managers can optimize and improve logistics processes towards excellence. Supply Chain Management and Performance Indicators Nearly 1.5 billion responses are given by Google when entering the term supply chain. This clearly shows the importance of this concept in the academic world but also in the professional world. Thus, according to, Sanders, 2012, p.3, 
the supply chain is defined as a network of all the entities involved in the production and delivery of a finished product to the end consumer. This includes the sourcing of components and raw materials, manufacturing, production, product assembly, storage of goods in warehouses, order entry and tracking, distribution, and delivery to the end consumer. Dan and Sanders, 2010, p.16, point out that the goal of each actor in this network is to work together, cooperation, to reduce overall costs and improve quality and delivery. Services Regarding supply chain management, according to, Russell and Taylor, 2011, p.8, this can be defined as the design and management of the flow of products, information, and financial flows through the SC. This involves the coordination and management of all activities of the SC. SCM is a very complex business concept due to the nature and type of decisions involved. Sanders, 2012, p.3. Thus, according to, Ayers 2006, p.4, it is important to emphasize the flow of knowledge enabling learning for all partners. SCM helps improve business performance through two main factors. The first factor, according to, Lambert, 2006, is the interfunctional integration of key business processes and information that add value to consumers and stakeholders and this through the network of firms involved in SC. The second factor, according to, Stadler, 2005, is the coordination of physical, information and financial flows in order to fulfill the demands of end consumers with the objective of improving the competitiveness of the SC as a whole. The contributions of the SCM, through the integration and coordination of flows, are manifold. Beeman, 1999, and Bowersox ETAL, 2013, p.368, as well as Netland and Alfneys, 2008, show that these contributions can be visible in financial terms such as the improvement of turnover, the optimization of investments as well as the improvement of efficiency through productivity and control of total costs, costs of storage, distribution, etc. SCM also improves responsiveness and customer service, product quality, reliability of deliveries, as well as flexibility, including the ability of SC companies to respond to changes in the environment. This axis includes flexibility with regard to volume, variety of products, delivery dates, development of new products and services. Actually, the use of performance indicators is vital to achieve the coordination and integration of activities over all internal functions or with external actors, suppliers and distributors. In fact, Using pertinent indicators to manage and control the whole supply chain performance is not really easy, this requires to determine which key functions and activities to be controlled and which indicators to be used in order to get the managers closer to the reality of their business. Singh and Dutt, 2020, demonstrates that because of the sophistication of SC processes, the method of determining effective supply chain performance metrics is challenging. Actually, Many researchers are still paying the attention to the use of indicators in SC such as, Moore et al., 2018, who explored the key performance indicators that serve as a decision support tool to manage dairy supply chain. From what has been mentioned, it becomes important for companies to develop and adopt best performance indicators to manage perfectly all the SC flows and to ensure their regular application. The methodology adopted to assess supply chain indicators use. The ASLOG standards are designed to assess the overall supply chain. This allows the company, regardless its size, to be assessed against a benchmark that ranges from basic practices to operational excellence. The ASLOG model, which was designed according to a process structure, presents several process axes, namely, management, strategy and planning, sourcing, manufacturing, transportation, inventory management, marketing, reverse logistics, performance, indicators, etc., Zuaki, 2013, p.99. ASLOG has designed logistic standards based on the model developed by Volvo in the 1990s. 
the ISLOG standards provides assistance to companies wishing to adopt a continuous improvement approach, with the main objective of achieve the level of excellence and implement good logistics practices. The first version of the standards goes back to 1997. It then had 53 questions strongly oriented towards the product life cycle, but it did not sufficiently take into account the issue of downstream flow or other issues. The concept of the supply chain was introduced into the model in 2002. In our study, we used the fifth version, developed in 2008, which includes 124 questions. Results and Analysis The following lines will present the evaluation of different topics related to the SC indicators, namely, the way of setting logistics goals that are the basic of performance measurement, also, the logistics costs control, the quality of partnership with suppliers, the control of production process, the stock level control, and finally, which indicators are adopted to deal with customers' satisfaction and to solve all downstream activities besides customers. These results will show how mature are the company practices regarding these topics.